So Claude just released a big update where you can now add custom styles inside your chats so you can get better outputs. And in this video, I'm gonna explain what this update is, how you can use it and more. So be sure to stick around to the very end. And if this is your first time to the channel, welcome. My name is Ryan. My mission is to help you navigate the overwhelming world of artificial intelligence. And if you want to know my favorite AI tools and prompts that I'm using for marketing and content creation, be sure to get my free AI marketing essentials guide. You can find the link for this below this video. But now let's dive back into this new update from Claude. So if you visit Claude's website at Claude.ai, it doesn't matter if you're a paid user of Claude Pro, this works on all the free plans of Claude as well. Now, I don't know if this is available to anyone outside of the United States or any other regions that they've rolled this out. If you don't see this new update where it says choose style right here, let me know in the comments below. But again, right here, this is the brand new update, choose style. So if you click it, you'll see normal. That's what we've been using inside Claude all along before this update concise, shorter responses and more messages, explanatory educational responses for learning, informal, clear and well-structured responses. All of these definitely have their own specific use cases. But what's really cool about this and a little more advanced, if I click create and edit styles, you can actually create your own custom style. So if you click create custom style, this is where you can add a writing sample, whether that's a PDF or a Word doc. If I click add writing example, I can even copy and paste text from various sources on the internet, like a YouTube transcript or a bio or just any other writing sample that's 100% you or your brand that you'd wanna create a writing style for. Now, what's also a little more advanced is you could even click describe writing style instead. And so here we have options to define a style objective, tailor to an audience, uh, use a specific voice, describe generally. And so if I define an objective, like here they give an example here, I wanna teach complex topics with a focus on building understanding. So you can say something like, I want to teach uh, AI and chat GPT, but make it understandable to the average person. We'll just do that quickly, click generate style. And now it's gonna generate a style by simply me defining the style objective. And so here, right here, style summarizer. So it calls it the tech translator. It just gave it that name. Demystify complex AI concepts through accessible, engaging, and thorough explanations that connect technical ideas to everyday understanding. And here's where you can preview this style. So you can do it in a short story, a customer email. Uh, you can rename it. You can go back and edit the style, product review. I'm going to do a marketing blog post. So on the right-hand side in real time here, it's using this new custom style that I just created on the fly, and it's generating a blog post about sustainable fashion trends. That's just what it came up with. And so right here, right, key trends. Uh, again, that's not a very long blog post, but this is just an example. Sustainable fashion is revolutionizing how we think about our wardrobes. Uh, and you can read this whole thing if you guys want. But that is a very quick walkthrough of how you just create a custom style. And if I go back to the home screen, I'm going to refresh this. If I click choose style, you'll notice that new tech translator style that I just built is right here. But now I'm going to go back and actually do this a little more in depth uh, just, to, just to show you guys how this can apply better to real world use cases. So let's say you want to create a custom writing style in Claude that sounds just like you. And the first thing I would recommend that you do before I show you how to do this is I would recommend finding a writing sample that's 100% original content that you wrote. Now, this is a long form bio that I wrote for podcasts and speaking engagements. It could be a social media post on LinkedIn, Twitter, whatever, right? Any long form article or anything that you've written that's 100% you and original, make sure you have that on hand for what I'm about to show you. So what you can do is come back to Claude, click choose style, click create and edit styles, click create custom style. And then what we're going to do is click add writing sample. And from here, I would recommend doing paste text document versus uploading from device. I've just found that I've gotten better results doing this way after quickly testing a few times. So click paste text context. And here's where you will paste your content. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to copy and paste this long bio that I did. And also a quick tip too, the longer the writing sample, probably the better if it's 100% your content. That's just more that Claude has to work with and it can generate a better style. So I'm gonna copy and paste this five paragraph podcast bio that I use 
paste it back into Claude, and here is my writing sample. So I'm gonna click Create Style, and it's gonna take a couple of seconds for Claude to analyze my writing, and let's see what it comes up with here. All right, so my new writing style is now finished. And in Claude, by default, name this the Career Chronicler. Uh, I don't like that, so I'm going to double click it and change it to my name. Uh, we'll just do Ryan Dozer Writing Style. Click the orange checkbox here. And a couple important things. So number one, you can click Edit with Claude if you don't like how it sounds or you just want to edit it. Click Edit with Claude. And right here, you can come in and edit your new writing style. It gives you some default things here. A bit more achievements focus. Make it much less precise. You can say like make, make it sound more professional, or whatever tweaks that you want to make. Let's see if I can correctly spell. Whatever tweaks that you want to make, you can do it right inside this little chat box here. Um, so then right there. So make it sound more professional. So it just did that. Make sure you click Save Changes when you're done with that. And another important thing too is if you click Options, you can click Edit Style Manually. So here are the style instructions that Claude has created. This is pretty in-depth of what they've done here. You can do it in here as well. I wouldn't recommend tweaking with this. If you do want to change your writing style and make any changes, I would recommend doing this Edit with Claude option and then just fine-tuning it to whatever you want to do. Now, the last thing I want to talk about here is I am a member of Claude Pro and I do use what are called Claude projects. And here's an example of a Claude project, my Ryan Dozer AI agent. And what I don't really understand is how this would be useful inside a Claude project. Sure, if you want to mix and match things, but the whole purpose of a Claude project is to have outputs sound like you in the first place based on the knowledge that you upload. You'll see inside my Claude project, I have my LinkedIn, I have a bio, I have words to avoid, I have all these YouTube and podcast transcripts of me talking so it understands how I talk. And so that's what I'm struggling to comprehend here is how is this writing style going to replace what we can already do inside a Claude project? Now, to me, where this makes the most sense is for free users. If you're a free user of Claude and you don't have access to Claude projects, this new custom writing styles is a huge update because if you're on the free plan, you can't build Claude projects. So we can now use these custom writing styles instead of using Claude projects. But I think the big caveat here is if I go back, click create new style, is that you can only upload one source, whether that's one PDF one Word doc, or just one long writing sample, that is the downside of using this versus a Claude project where you can upload, I don't even know the exact amount, but tons of different sources to basically train that project to sound just like you, your brand, or whatever the specific use case is. So I just wanted to call that out and that this does appear to tailor more towards those free users of Claude versus paid users who can already access Claude projects. So with all of that being said, if you want more information on this new update from Claude, you can visit Anthropic's official website. I'll leave a link to this and everything else that I mentioned in the video description below. And if you guys found value in this video, be sure to give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. Also leave me a comment below. What do you guys think about this new update from Claude? Are you gonna create your own custom writing styles? But most importantly, I hope you all have a great day.